what is gst importance features advantages limitations out of these five any one or two questions will be there your cgst sgst igst so all comes under your types of gst so income from interest on security winning from lottery winning from hostages within the limit you are supposed to pay your advance tax you have not paid properly then what happens you have to pay interest on that a warm welcome to one and all this is your adarsha here lecturing with us from first grade college the temple of excellence now we are discussing your model paper on tax management to model paper in the sense i'm not going to solve any problems in this but i'll give you a hint how to solve that along with that i'll give you the important theory for your examination which are most likely to come in your exam now in today's session we will work out the whole question paper with hint along with the complete theory along with you have solutions also so please work out before you go to your examination this will be helpful for your exam so your 6 m bba complete theory notes so i started with your theory later i'll come back to your previous year question paper now the first theory will be what block of assets as i told you this is one of the most important as well as we can call it as compulsory question for your exam now what is block of asset like this topic comes under what depreciation i'll don't go in depth because i need to brief it up as early as possible so that you know all you have all the answers in the screen itself but i'll give you idea i'll tell you what is exactly block of asset the meaning definitions points you are supposed to remember because you have answers on the screen itself once i done with my complete class i'll go back to all these slides if you want you can take screenshot now block of asset means very simple under depreciation you have many kinds of percentage it may be 15% 10% 5% all different types of percentages are mentioned so please go back for the depreciation unit 5% is called as one block 10% called as one block 15% comes under one block these are called as block of asset single boxes now what is block of asset under depreciation block of asset means a group of asset falling within a class of assets comprising like depends on tangible building plant furniture everything we call it as block of asset hope you are clear as yes, this is your five mark question you are supposed to remember this much for your block of assets so these are the percentage also like 5% 10% 40% this is block 1 block 2 block 3 even though all three are building only but percentages are different that's why under this we have three blocks 1 2 3 4 4 blocks so individual percentage individual asset we call it as one individual block i'll go to question number 2 rates of tax for depreciation for the assessment year if you can just remember the percentage 99% in the question paper they will give you percentage if it is not given it is your duty to remember percentage that is the only difference between your accountancy as well as taxation in the accounts it is easy actually but in taxation we are supposed to remember the percentage so these are the percentage try to remember so these are the continuation of your percentage yes your question number 3 what is capital gain this is your 5 or 10 mark question this one may come for 5 or 10 mark what do you mean by capital gain there are two things are there one will be your short term capital gain and one more is long term capital gain short term as well as long term so short term under this what is short term and what is long term short term there are three cases are there movable immovable as well as 
stock or shares. If it is movable, then it will be three years. Immovable, two years. Stock, one year. More than three years, more than two years, more than one year, we call it as long-term capital gain. If it is less than three years, less than two years, less than one year, we call it as short-term capital gain. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is all about your capital gain. Remember, you may ask five or ten mark question on capital gain as well as types of capital gain. So the condition of percentage for long term. Yes. Long term capital gain and on the sale of equity. Yes. So defining capital assets. Defining capital assets. So up to that, your question number three regarding capital gain. And if it is a short term, if it is a short term, remember, if it is a short term, so it will be 10%. If it is a long term, then also 10% in case of these particular equities. Your question number four talks about 10 items income from other source. So compulsory as well as important question for your examination. There are 10 points are there. You are supposed to remember all the 10 points for your examination purpose. What is set off and carry forward? So in your syllabus specifically, they have mentioned that theory only. They will not ask you problems on set off and carry forward, but you are supposed to remember the box or the table of set off and carry forward for your five marks as well as 10 mark question. Next one. This is also set off carry forward. And the sixth one, company. They may ask you five mark question on company like a company is an artificial person created by law having a separate legal entity. Already you have studied. They may ask you what are the features of company like it is a voluntary association incorporated form for specific objective. All are points for your features of company. One of the most important question they may ask you for 10 marks. What is company and features of company? Question number seven, bond washing transaction. As I told you, what is bond washing transaction? Uh, in your normal concept class itself, again, I'll explain you, I'll repeat that. What is bond washing means very simple. You are having one share certificate. You are having one debenture bonds. Normally what happens, whenever due date comes, you will collect interest. Whenever due date comes, you will collect dividends. What you are supposed to do? You have to pay tax on that. Just assume that it is a share certificate. It is a share certificate. I am having this. When is the due date? 31st March is a due date. Assume that. On 31st March, I have this certificate. What do I get? I'll get dividend on this particular share. Should I pay tax on the dividend? Yes, I have to pay. So if it is a unlisted, then I have to pay tax. Yes, then what should I do then? What I should do means if 31st March is a due date, five days prior, five days before, I'll give this certificate to my wife. I transfer this debenture certificate to my wife then what happens i can avoid tax because it is in the name of whom my wife her income is what zero whatever the income she gets from debenture tax free for her clear because it comes under taxable limit after 31st march i'll take back this certificate from her then what happens i saved my tax because at the time of due date, the certificate was not mine. It was my wife's. After six days, I have taken it back. So these are the reasons to avoid tax. Then what government did, they framed a new system called bond washing transaction. So what bond washing transaction says, there are many people are there, they are not paying tax properly. They are escaping from tax by transferring to somebody. Then what government did, during the due date, whatever the share certificate are transferred, even though it is transferred to another person, 
who transferred that person only should pay tax hope you got it who transferred and taken back that person only should pay tax that is called bond washing system government saved tax now i'll go to next one assessment procedure 10 marks compulsory sometimes 15 marks what do you mean by assessment procedure how many types are there self assessment summary scrutiny best judgment protective reassessment assessment in case of search these are the assessment procedures are there please follow up this all the answers i have given answers are there answers are there yes 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 total i have given seven assessment procedure please try to remember at least five if possible all seven tax deducted at source tds tax deducted at source now what is tds this is also your five marks theory very simple i have amount of ten thousand with me I got income of 10,000. What government will do? They will not give you 10,000. They will deduct 30% tax and they give me 7,000 because tax is deducted there itself. If you want lot big boss, you are the big boss winner, assume that. So you will be awarded 50 lakh. Will you get 50 lakh? No. Tax is deducted and 34, 35 lakh you will get. So that is called TDS. TCS tax collected at source. Whenever your income collected, later you are supposed to pay tax. That is tax collected at source. And what is GST? This is also one of the most important. What is GST? Importance, features, advantages, limitations. Out of these five, any one or two questions will be there. Again, I'll repeat. What is GST? For features, for importance, Advantages, disadvantages. These are very important under GST unit. I have given everything. Advantages I have given point wise. You are only supposed to explain that. Features also I have given. You are supposed to explain. Disadvantages I have given. You are supposed to explain. So we are done with your theory part. Now we are into 234C. That is called as your advanced tax. So advanced tax, we have done normal problems, but we have not done interest calculation. We have not done interest calculation. Now we are doing the interest calculation part 234C. So normal problem you have done, but how to calculate your interest? I'll tell you. 234C, the due date will be like every three months, three months, three months and the last will be called as one month. I'll tell you while calculating. Three months, three months, three months and the last one will be called as one month. What is the percentage? The percentage is one percent. Like you are supposed to pay your advance tax. You have not paid properly. Then what happens? You have to pay interest on that. What is the interest? One percent. On what value? The difference value. I'll tell you. So percentage will be 15, 45, 75, 100. What is this 15? 15%, 15 percent, 30 percent, 30 percent. And the last one is 25. 15 plus 30, 45. 45 plus 30, 75. And 75 plus 25, it is 100. Nothing but same only. We used to calculate 15, 30, 30, 25. But here they have added 15 plus 30, 45 plus 30, 75 plus 25, 100. Now, so what is the calculation? I'll show you. This is your question number one. Advanced tax payable on 15 June, 15 September, 15 December, 15 March. Advanced tax payable is how much? 15,000, 45, 75, 100. But how much is paid? 5,000, 25, 35, 50. Now, I'll tell you, out of 15,000, how much paid? 5,000. What is the shortage? 10,000. 10,000 into 1% into 
थ्री मंथ दिस इज योर आंसर Got it? Ten thousand into one percent into three months. First one three months, second three months, third three months, last one one month. Similarly, twenty thousand here, forty-five thousand you are supposed to pay. You paid how much? Twenty-five. What is the shortage? Twenty. Twenty thousand into one percent into three months. Out of seventy-five, you paid only thirty-five. Still forty is pending. Forty thousand into one percent into three months. One lakh. But how much you paid? Fifty. What is the balance? Fifty. Fifty thousand into one percent into three months. Now calculate what is your answer. Now simple one. Ten thousand into one percent into three months, so I got three hundred. Remember, last one is not three months. Last one is one month. Next, twenty thousand into one percent into three months, I got six hundred. Forty thousand into one percent into three months, I got thousand two hundred. So fifty thousand into one percent into three months, I got one thousand five hundred. What is the total? Three hundred plus six hundred plus thousand two hundred plus thousand five hundred. I got three thousand six hundred. So one second, fifty thousand into one percent into one month, not three months. It is one month. So it will be how much? Two thousand six hundred. What is your answer? Two thousand six hundred. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now this is all about your calculation of interest. Easy or very easy? Very easy. What is supposed to be paid? How much paid? Take the difference. First installment into one percent for three months. Second installment into one percent for three months. Third installment into one percent into three months. Last installment into one percent for one month. Why it is one month? I'll tell you the logic also for that. June fifteenth, September fifteenth, December fifteenth, March fifteenth. From June to September, we have three months. September to December three months. December to March three months. March to March thirty first. Do we have three months? No, we have only how much? Fifteen days. We do round off. Round off means it will become one month. Hope you are clear. We are in the month of March only. We cannot go for three. That's why we taken one month. Hope you are clear. Good. So these are all your theory part. I'll go back to all the previous slide. Take screenshot later. I'll go to your question paper. So this is your question number one. Solution. Question number two. Question number three. Question number four. Question number five. Question number six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Yes. So these are the ten theory questions you have for your examination. And remember, along with this, you are supposed to learn even what is input tax and output tax. Output tax. It is a tax on sales. Input tax means tax on purchases. Simple one, tax on purchases, tax on sales. These are all your theory question. This much is more than sufficient. Almost you have ten questions here. It will cover your fifteen, ten as well as five mark theory questions. So again, I am telling this. These are the ten questions more than sufficient for your examination. All the questions repeatedly it will be asked in your. Exam. Please work out all these theory questions. 
and these are your 234C interest calculation. 234C illustration 234C calculation. Yes. Now we'll come for your question paper, your previous year question paper. I'll don't solve anything, just I'll give you a hint. I'll briefly I'll explain you one by one. Now Answer any two questions, each carries 15 marks. 15 marks, two questions you are supposed to answer. The first one will be, these are the information we have. Compute taxable income of individual. So in the notes I have given solution for all these kind of problem. Assessment of individual, as I told you, assessment of individual in your topic, in your examination, please keep it as last option. If you're good enough, please do it. If you're not good enough, don't lose marks. Go for other options. Clear? Yes. And the second question will be the profit and loss account they have given. See, they have given p &L account. And other information also they have given. Compute total income and tax liability of company for the assessment media. Exactly same question I have given you in the notes. And with the solution, please work out assessment of company. So without fail, don't skip assessment of company, easiest one. Your third one is what is capital asset? And you have to write the theory part, difference between long term and short term. Along with that, you are supposed to write your capital gain also. Again, the similar exact question we have solved in your notes. Please work out, but I'll give you a hint. 15 lakh minus selling price is nothing. Cost of acquisition 2 lakh is there. What you are supposed to do? 2 lakh multiplied with, what is the current year? They have given 280. This is 1819, but we are doing 1920. Remember, here I'll take 280. When it was purchased, 5 and 6. 5 and 6 is 117. This is your cost of acquisition. I'll come for this one, 4,50. 4,50,000 into 280 is common. This is for last year. This year you are not taking 280. And divided by when it was purchased, 7,8. 7,8 is 129. This is your cost of acquisition because it is a long term. And the last one, purchased on 18-19 means it is a short term. So this will be your cost of acquisition. Now, he has purchased a house for 18 lakh. Whatever answer you get for residential house, minus 18 lakh. Hope you are clear. Yes. What is GST? Explain importance of GST. I have given you answer. Types of GST also I have given you answer. Clear? Yes. So your CGST, SGST, IGST, so all comes under your types of GST. Answer any two questions. Each question carries 10 marks. Now, from the following information, compute depreciation. So it is a simple one. You have to do blockwise. The exact question we have done in your notes. Please work out this particular problem. Depreciation calculation. From the following information, calculate income from other source of Amruta. So income calculate income from other source. They never ask you taxable income from other so still what you can do is just prepare two columns one is if there is a confusion in you example so they have asked calculate income from other source what to do so simple one make two columns one is income from other source one more is taxable income from other source one is income from other source one more is Taxable income from other source. Under income from other source, you can write everything. Under taxable income from other source, like for example, income from agriculture land in UK, it will come. Ground rent from land in Mandia, it will come. Director fees received will come. 
Dividend from Cooperative Society. Yes, it is not Indian company. Cooperative Society. Welcome. Interest on bank FD, 1200, below limit, so it will not come. Rent from subletting a house, 80,000, will come. Rent paid by Amruta, it is around 30,000 actually. 80 minus 30, you are supposed to take 50,000. So whatever rent paid by him or her has to be deducted. Then, winning from lottery, it will come because it is above 10,000. Examination fees, 12. Dividend from foreign company. If it is an Indian company, exam. Foreign company, taxable. Royalty received also, taxable. Is there any other information? No. So only this much. There is no confusion. Other source, taxable income from other source. Hope you are clear. Yes. Has estimated following income, salary, everything is given, determine amount of advance tax payable. I have done this. Salary income, add income from house. Computed means don't do any 30%, nothing. No municipal tax, no 30%. Income from business, 80. Share profit from 1 lakh. Interest on government, add everything. 4 lakh plus 2 lakh, 6 plus 8, 14 lakh, 15 lakh, 15 lakh 75,000. Clear? Income from, yes, it is what? Srimati Gaurama. Gaurama means individual. Gaurama means what? Individual. So what we'll do? 5 lakh 75 means up to 2 lakh 50,000. Nil. We are not doing company. Gaurama means individual. If it is a company, direct 30%. Now, so it is how much now? 4, 6, 15 lakh 75. Up to 2 lakh 50 nil. Next 2 lakh 50,000, 5%. So remaining 5 lakh 20%. Above 10 lakh is how much? 5 lakh 75. 5 lakh 75,000 into 30%. Total, if you add, you will get 15 lakh 75. So calculate and what is the answer? First one is nil, zero. Second one, 12,500. Third one, 1 lakh. Fourth one, 5 lakh 75,000 into 30%. So it will be 1,12,500. Add everything. 1,200 plus 1 lakh plus 112,500. It will be like 1,200 plus 1 lakh plus 1,12,500. Lakh 2,15,000. Lakh Add 4% education says. 9,000. Total amount is how much? 2,24,000. Hope you are clear. What is your answer? 2,24,000. What is the percentage here? First one, 15%. Second, 30%. Third, 30%. And the last one, 25. Simple one. 2 lakh 24,000 into 15 percent. I got 13,600. It will be 27,200. 27,200. And 2 lakh 24,000 into 2 lakh 24,000 into 25. I got 16,000. Hope you are clear with all this concept. Clear? Yes. So these are the things you are supposed to do for advanced tax. Along with that, determine the advanced tax is over. Briefly explain regular assessment, best judgment. I have given you answer for this question. Answer only two questions like Subramania, liable to pay advanced income tax. Like these are the 
Yes, advanced income tax of 1,25,000 has deposited the following. What is the tax payable? 125. This is a payable. How much is paid already? 19,000, 30,000, 25, 51. Calculate interest if payable under section 234C. How to calculate simple one? In this, 2,25,000, 15%, 15 plus 30, 45%. And else, you can take it as 19,000, 30,000, 25, 51. Just I'll add. Okay. So, cumulative, I'll check. First year, they have paid 19,000. 19 plus 30, 49,000. So 49 plus 25, 74,000. 74 plus 51, only like 25,000. 51 plus 25 plus 30 plus 90. So I'll get exactly one like 25 only. This is payable. Clear? What did I do? Whatever given in the question, 19,000. Second year, what is the total payment? 19 plus 30, 49,000. 49 plus 25, 74. 74 plus 51, 1,25,000. Now, up to this we have completed after payable. Paid. Paid is how much? I'll show you the calculation. How to calculate paid means, this is 15%, 45%, 75% and 100%. It is all on what? 1,25. All the percentages we should calculate on? 1,25. I'll calculate first one. 1,25,000 into 15%. 18,750. Now, second one, 1,25,000 into 45%. 1,25,000 into 45%. 56,250. Similarly, 1,25,000 into 75%, 93,750. Last one. Last one is 100%. 1,25,000. Yes. So I'll make it this one as payable and this one as paid. So whatever information they have given, they have mentioned that he has deposited. I did not notice that. See, he has deposited the following means. These are already paid. What is payable on this? Whatever percentage you calculate now, that is called payable. What is the difference now? I'll show you the difference. So payable is this one. Paid is more, so not required. Whenever the advance tax interest will come, whenever you paid less, then it will come. Now, first year, payable is 18,750, paid is more. Second one, 56,250 minus 49,000, 7,250 shortage. So, 93,000. 74,000. How much paid less? Almost 9374. 19,250 less. So this one is equal nothing. Hope you understood. Payable, paid. What is the difference? First, they have paid more. Second one, out of 56, they paid only 49. Shortage of 7250. Out of 93, they paid only how much? 74, shortage of 19,250. Out of 125, they paid 
125. Now, will interest come for first um, installment? No. Will interest come for second installment? Yes. How? 7,250 into 1% into 3. Third one, 19,250 into 1% into 3. Fourth one, no, nothing because there is no calculation. 7,250 into 1% into 3. We are supposed to pay 217.5. Next, 19,250 into 1% into 3 months. I got 577.5. So 577 plus 217, 795. So what is the advance tax supposed to be paid? 795. Hope you got it. Again, I'll explain you in briefly. 125 is your tax amount. You already paid 19, 30, 25, 15. We don't want like this. We want cumulative. How do you do cumulative? 19 plus 30, 49, plus 25, 74, plus 51, 100. These are the amount you paid. What is payable? You know the percentage on 1 lakh 25, 15%. On 1 lakh 25, 45%. On 1 lakh 25, 75% on 1 lakh 25, 100%. If you calculate, you will get these money value. You should compare whether you paid this much or less. First year out of 18, 750, you paid more. Second year out of 56, you paid less. Pay tax, pay interest. Out of 93, you paid only 74, pay interest. Out of 125, you paid full, no interest, clear. First year into 1% into three. Second year into 1% into 3 months. Third year into 1% into 3 months. Last year into 1% into 1 month. But the last year we don't have interest. Only we have to calculate for 2 installment. Add that you got 795. Next, from the following gross income compute the amount of tax deducted at source. You know that. So income from interest on security, winning from lottery, winning from horse race within the limit. So it will not come. Commission to lottery agent will come because above 15,000, you should calculate 5%. Insurance commission also below 15,000, so it will not come. This will come, but this will not come. Write a note on block of asset. You know that. Write a note on input tax, output. Input tax on what? Purchases. Output tax on what? Sales. So I'll go back to all your previous slides of your question paper so that you can take a screenshot. Yes. So first one, assessment of individual. Your assessment of company. Capital gain. Depreciation. Income from other source. Theory assessment procedure, advanced tax, again advanced tax. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So there are two sessions I have done. One is revision, one is model paper. More than sufficient for your examination. In the revision part, I worked out all the problem. In the model paper, I have given more concentration on theory as well as interest on advanced tax. Please watch these two videos. Very beneficial for your exam. All the best. Good.